welcome back to my channel. This is Amy with Amy Plans Things, and today I'm unboxing my next squad box. And it is super exciting. It is something that everyone has been asking for. First, I did get one random item in the box. It is Colorful Dogs, the Petite Sticker Book, which um, came out in the fall release. So I'm excited to do some fun things with this, and I know my daughter would love to play with some of the stickers too. So that should be fun. But without further ado, Welcome to the Disney Villains Collection. I am so excited for this ever since they came out with the Disney Princesses. I have been hoping that they would come out with villains as well, and I am here for this. So these two planners that I received are dated um, for 2022, and then I also got a big Happy Notes and two sticker books. I think it is a pretty small collection, so I'm not sure what more there is than this. Um, but you can definitely check out online to see what else there might be. And if I learn any more by the time that I can post this video, um, I will definitely, um, let you know in the description box below, um, if there are more items and where you can get them. All right, so let's get started. I haven't opened any of these yet. So let's start with this notebook. Let's get started. All right. So this is 60 sheets of dotted lined paper. All right. And look at this cover. Just super fun. I love this foil paint splatter on the cover. You might be able to see that sparkle. I'm not sure. But Disney villains, I love it. And this watercolor that's on it too, super artsy, super cool. All right, let me find scissors to just cut this because I'm too lazy to pull around to the other side to look at it. Okay, so it's a dotted line layout, feeling fabulous. <laughs> and then, oh, the watercolor and a cutout on the back side that over so you can see all of it and then it has a paint splatter uh border right on this side and then the kind of alcohol ink watercolory thing on this side um that is super cool all right and then oh and on the back side of each page it says big plans and evil ideas and then strong at heart Ooh. I love this back of these covers. And then it looks like this is the same color for um, the edge here. All right, and then dare to begin. Hmm, this is just so cool. And I love this artsy look to it. All right, I think they did a fabulous job with this. I love it. And then the back cover looks to be, yeah, it's the same thing as the front cover. All right, so that is the big happy notes. Then let's go to the mini planner. This is a 12 month planner. It is dashboard layout. And this cover features Ursula. And it says dare to begin 2022. I don't use a mini. Um, but I welcome any ideas you have that I can add because I already know I want to use this. Um, so if you have ideas for what kind of planner for tracking or reading or whatever I could add, let me know. Um, hey, how you doing? <laughs> this mini happy planner belongs to blank. And then I've got Jafar. Oh, that's cute. This is just adorable. And again, the paint, paint splatter slash kind of, I guess it's kind of alcohol ink. So then the dividers for January, I am not afraid. And then this is what the monthly looks like. So it has that big plans and evil ideas down here. And then um, just completely blank other than paint splatter down the middle. All right. And then, oh, this is super cool. It's very neutral except a tiny bit not so it does have gray here there's no color right in this box which I know people have been asking for forever but if you bring if I bring it up close let's see so there's paint splatter here and this is kind of like purpley um and then over here there's a little paint splatter on the uh, month and then these have colors these are kind of purple and pink in here 
and then these are all different colors and like a little design in there there's like yellow blue gray pink like so it's a little bit of color but not enough that you couldn't do whatever you wanted with it um so yeah that is what the pages look like and then this is what the currently page looks like up to no good and again it looks like that and it looks like it's the exact same color uh setup here so i'm just going to flip through the, the dividers now curtsy while you're thinking what to say it saves time <laughs> i love that um i love that they're including all sorts of different villains from different movies not impressed <laughs> Ooh, and then I love this like pencil art here mixed with the alcohol ink. I think it's so pretty. Fearless. Life is full of tough choices, isn't it? And this is like a turquoise uh, foil that's super pretty. Cruella. So they thought they could outwit. Oh, so they thought they could outwit outwit Cruella. Love it. <laughs> and then this is the same uh, cover from the big planner. Strong at heart. <laughs> Scar. Forgive me for not leaping for joy. And very busy woman. Oh, I love it. I love it. And then the back color cover, is it different? Yeah. A little bit. She's just moved over. Um. Alrighty. That is adorable. So, if you have any ideas for what I should use this for, let me know because I'm going to find a way to use it. Because I love Disney. I love villains. Um... I'm very excited that they came out with villains. <laughs> All right. Then this is a classic dated planner for 2022. And it is a vertical layout, which I thought I was going to use the neutral watercolors planner um, that I received in my first squad box. But I might be using this one, you guys, because the neutrals is really great to do whatever you want with it. Um, because you know I do a lot of art art products like Distress Inks and lots of colorful stickers in my planners. But I think this one's pretty neutral on the pages and then it has the Disney villains. So I think it might fill that need as well. So let's take a look. So this is the same um, Hey How You Doing setup. This might be very similar to the other planner. Um, yeah, it's the same that um, I am not afraid, except then um, this is up here instead of down there. Still very neutral. And then just neutral here. So I love how neutral this is and how simple it is. Um, other planners have the thin line. The This is kind of the way I think my planner was last year. Um, so that's a little different, but I'm not against it. I'm definitely not against it. It's still very neutral and I'm excited for it. I think these might be the same dividers as the other planner. It looks like it. Um, so they don't have different artwork between these two. Um, but here you are with all of those. Um, let me know also what your favorite Disney villain is. Um, I think I like Ursula. I really like Ursula. But yeah, so these are all the same dividers. The only difference between these planners is that one is a mini and one is a big, is a classic, and that the classic is vertical layout instead of dashboard. So there you go. All right, now for the sticker books. Okay, and I usually don't talk through sticker flip throughs, but I'm gonna talk through this one. So there are two sticker books. There's a regular one and a mini. Um, so let's take a look at the regular one first. All right, let's first make sure this is in the screen. All right. All 
480. Oh my gosh, I just spotted something really cool on the third page. I love these graphic images. They're so fun. But look, look at this. This is holographic, guys. Super cool. I'm not sure how it'll look in the planner, but I definitely will try it. And I think it'd be super cool to do some art projects with this. Like I made a phone case out of one of the Disney princess things. And I think this would be super cool on a phone case. So I might be doing some sticker crafts. Um, then these say the plan, today's tasks, get it done. And then good to be bad, fearless and feeling wicked. So this is cool. All right. And then we go to our next villain. And then again, not uh, some words to put in your planner, not today, up to no good, memo to me, feeling on fire today. <laughs> I love how sassy this book is. And Scar, oh, I love Scar. He might be one of my favorite villains too. Oh, and they put some hyenas in here. Ooh, a Lion King spread would be cool. I really hope Happy Planner comes out with Disney animals. That would be super cool if we had like Simba and you know like all the animals from the different movies I I would be there for that too um meticulous planning forgive me for not leaping for joy be strong be prepared we've got Ursula <laughs> feeling witchy Ooh, these are cool these might be super hard to see I don't know but oh man I like them. Feeling witchy. Life is full of tough choices, isn't it? Very busy woman. Taking matters into my own hand to do today. And then Jafar. Today needs to be canceled. Not impressed. Ecstatic. Don't care. Not impressed. Today needs to be canceled. Then we've got Cruella. Not my day. Perfectly wretched. Hello, darling. Hello today. Fabulous. Not my day. <laughs> oh, look, Captain Hook. Today's tasks, feeling villainous, mood, that's enough of today. I definitely think a villain spread needs to happen where they're all on the same page. That would be super cool. Like a convention for villains. <laughs> oh my goodness. Don't be bitter. Today's mood, just one bite, strong at heart. Today's tasks, get it done. Curtsy while you're thinking what to say, it saves time. Losing my temper, queen of hearts. So done with today, always my way. So this is cool. So all of them are holographic on the those other ones instead of like clear stickers. I wish there were some clear stickers in here, um, but I definitely think the holographic is cool. Let's just lift one up to see. Okay, yeah, not see-through at all, just totally holographic. Um, but I think it's gonna be super cool. We'll see what I can do with it. Hope I can give you some ideas for how to use them. Um, I think it's fun. So this is the mini, and so, Oh, there's some more box of stickers because there weren't very many box stickers in this one, just a couple of small ones. Um, but these are some nice sizes of those. So that's cool. Um, and then just slightly smaller figures on these pages. But they're, it's very similar, so I'm gonna go through a little bit faster, but I love that there are more horizontal things. Um, And the boxes. Oh, I definitely am excited to do a scar spread. Super fun. Okay, that might be the first one I do. I'm not sure. But yeah, so it's all very similar art to this one, but it's just the different size for the um, for the spread, for the mini. So, oh, I can't wait. So again, let me know what I should use the mini for. I'm probably going to be using both just because they're fun, even though they've got the same dividers. Um, unless I find something even better. But yeah, oh, I love this one. The Dalmatian print. <laughs> oh, 
All right. There are definitely so many villains to choose from. I don't know how Disney and Happy Planner narrowed it down or who got to choose who the villains were, but um, I'm happy over these villains. Um, I'm really happy Scar is in there, even though he's not human, because he is a very classic uh, villain for Disney. <laughs> this is my happy face. That's funny. I was surprised to see the Queen of Hearts in here just because Alice in Wonderland hasn't been included in any of the other things too. Um, I mean, she's not a Disney princess, so I guess this they had a wider range of um, movies to choose from. Um, yeah. But I like it. It's definitely a more cartoony, I don't know. It's a different style of artwork than the other one, so it's cool to have it to uh, mix up the style a little bit. But yeah, oh my gosh. So, I have been hoping for like two years, ever since they first came out with Disney stuff, that they'd come out with villains. And they did. So, this is what there is that I know of. If I find out there's more Disney villain stuff, I'll let you know in the description box below of what it is and where you can get it. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and flip through. If you did, please click that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.